Today I'm taking a look at the Ulanzi Fast Claw Clip with other accessories in the same system and you can see how they interchange with their quick release. Ulanzi did send me these items to check out. We'll be keeping them, potentially using them in future videos. Let's get started. You have the quick release, you've got a lock here and this attaches to any type of backpack or whatever else with a strap that you want. Also has strap lugs for whatever use you might think of to use those. Besides the fast claw clip, we have the fast claw itself. This has screw holes on the bottom, quarter 20, and also rails for Arca Swiss style mounts. Here we have the U100 with the built-in Ulanzi quick release system. This is super high quality feeling. I like it a lot. And the most interesting thing about the U100 is this cold shoe on the side. Here's the largest item they sent me, the MT45. Different thing here is that there are some plastic six involved. The other items are all metal except for the rubber obviously. However the whole head area is metal. All right so I'm going to take all this stuff out try to use it together see how it works as a system. The flexible tripod MT45 with the GoPro at the moment max lens mod. If I wanted to switch this out take this one with a, another quick release lock it in turn it on hit the record button. So in this case we have the M6 Mark II from Canon recording GoPro Lock into here, lock it down. Got this wrong direction. <laughs> oh, it's brisk. M6 Mark II with the U100. Have the Z5 with the FASC clip. And the GoPro with the MT45. My hands are freezing already. And uh, if I had an extra, like, robot arm, it'd be even better. Yulanzi, you should look into robot arms. There we go. Okay, hands. So in this case, unlock, pop it. Uh, had the door open all the time. There we go. I can switch this off. My hands are just super cold, honestly. Lock this in, rotate it upwards. So now I've got a set up here that I can feel the view camera. That works nicely to have some interesting possibilities where I can quickly switch them out. If I wanted to use it here, I could, obviously. Lock it in, maybe long exposure. Really doesn't matter, but the goal is to see the differences of how it all works together, sets up together. There is a tool built in to the fast claw clip and it attaches in there with a strong magnet, so you shouldn't lose that, most likely. Inside you've got two clamps. One clamp with the red, you can lock down mechanically. You can adjust the thickness. In this case, you can loosen this as much as you want. Also loosen this. And then you've got your thickness. On the inside, we've got some rubber here on one side, and just flat metal on the other. So I'm here, comes up, and then it'll lock down based on how thick your strap is. Clamps down to any strap wide as 69 millimeters and then the thickness of 12 millimeters. Max load 2.5 kilograms. Got the instructions, very simple graphical instructions, which is nice. You don't need a bunch of words to get the point across. Main thing to take note of here is the locking mechanism. Pushes to the side, metal clamps that lock into the quick release on the side. And there are some little pins that help it align, I assume. You can either push it down or push the buttons at the same time. Let this go in here. I'm gonna switch these two so that I can do an interesting viewpoint with the tripod, but it works the best with the GoPro. So GoPro, lock it in. All right, take some photos. Easily just lock it back in, lock it down, pick up my other camera. I have 85 millimeter on this camera, but if I wanted to use the wide angle from the M6 Mark II, I could easily switch them out, flip them over, put this down, clearly. Take this off. There we go. And we've got the wide angle ready to go now. You can easily Lock it down. Go fetch my other camera. All right, you are going on to me. Lock that in. Pull out the M6 Mark II. Lock it in. Lock it down. If I wanted to do an instructional video, I've got B-roll going. Probably put that on a tripod itself, but 
I've got that at the moment. If I wanted to put a light here or something, it's super dark. Put this one here, something like that. <laughs> yeah, it works. The Lanzi Fast Call clip worked out well in that photo outing. No issues, easy to go from backpack to standard tripod with the U100 and maybe some vlogging stuff as well. So good combination of features with the quick release system. I think that's the main thing is being able to quickly go from different types of photography, videography work. I liked it. No issues that I noticed in this first outing. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, consider that Yulanzi sent me all this stuff to make the video and try it out. So keep that in mind. Anyways, I'm Scott Photography Bonsai. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Links in the description for all this stuff, of course, if you want to check it out. See ya.